almost a week now to assess this fight. Just give me your mindset as you leave for Vegas today. Yeah, it's uh, time to go, you know. Uh, season, I feel like I'm year round in training, so they called it. It's time to go. So I got my team with me, got all the boys uh, here, ready, ready to get out there and try to get the job done. I would imagine the week has already been crazy based on that press conference down in Torrance. What's it been like since this thing was announced? Yeah, it's been crazy nonstop. Um, wake up every day to 40 messages. I'm like, I got to train. I ain't got time for all this. You know, I got, got a you know, three day fight camp, but uh, it's all good. Get out there and get the job done. You know, I think uh, I, I deal with a lot better. Better things that he's got got to work with. I got, you know, I got Kwon Gracie Jiu Jitsu, my brother Nick, and I've been boxing in, in a high level boxing gym since I was 15. So uh, I'm just just uh, trying to get out there and get the job done. What is the game plan going out against him? The game plan is to go in there, hit him with some good shit, don't get hit, and. Uh, come home with a pocket full of cash. This fight has already been talked about the hype. Uh, the, the press conference kind of set it off, but it's going to be crazy in Vegas. How do you focus on just getting training in and get ready for Saturday? Yeah, it's always pretty crazy, but it's, uh, it's all good. It's uh, just going to go out there and, and do the thing, uh, deal with what I got to deal with, do what I got to do, and, and uh, come home, get this shit done. A lot's been made of the weight. Does it benefit one or you the other more than the 170? Well, Who does know, it? He had a full camp, yeah. so uh, and uh, he was ready to fight somebody. Then training day in and out to fight somebody. I train here around to fight people too. So uh, you should always be ready to rock. And uh, uh, with that, I'm martial artist too, and the weight it shouldn't have nothing to do with that. And I agreed to 155 in the beginning, and uh, the the. UFC or whatever, they all played their games and, and didn't want to make the fight happen for the mo for the mo money that was going on. So when they're like, we're not going to call you back. We're not going to call you back because uh, what I was asking for. And I'm like, all right, well, don't call back then because I wasn't begging for that. This fight's going to happen regardless. You know, it needs to happen. Uh, it's one of the biggest names in the in the whole in the whole roster right now, and um, so I was, I was not worried about it. And I say, if you call, call back tomorrow, things are gonna be different because I'm going to dinner. So uh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna kill myself making weight, and I could have made the weight, but they wanted to play around. So now we're fighting at this weight. You realize the opportunity that's in front of you. I mean, you're fighting the biggest name in the sport right now. What can this do for Nate Diaz? Yeah, we're gonna take that name, and, and uh, you know, I've been here a long time. I got a big name too, but we're taking all what he's got. We're taking it with us. That's the plan. Talk to your fans in Stockton and Sacramento as you leave for Vegas and just let them know what you're thinking and what you want to do. Yeah, Stockton, Sacramento, America. I appreciate all the support you've been showing. And uh, I'm going to do what I can for you guys and uh, for, for my team and, and try to get the job done. And uh, North Cali, that's what's up.